Okay, so in this video, we will consider two simple looking quadratic polynomials and try and factor first by inspection, but then we'll see that it's not so obvious. Things are a little more interesting. So here's the first example. x squared minus x minus 5. So it looks simple enough. We could try and factor by inspection. As it is a quadratic, there will be two factors. The product would be negative 5 and the sum would be negative 1. Can you come up with two real numbers whose product is negative 5 and whose sum is negative 1? It's not so obvious. And actually, you can stare at this as long as you want. The odds are you won't come up with it. Then we fall back on the quadratic formula. We know that to factor a quadratic, all we need are the zeros. But to solve an equation of this type, we can of course fall back on the quadratic equation. So x must be minus b, negative negative 1 is plus 1, plus or minus b squared, negative 1 squared is 1, minus 4 times a, which is 1, minus 4a of course c, which is negative 5, all over if you remember, 2 times a. 2 times 1 is 2. If we simplify, we'll get 1 plus or minus. Negative 4 times 1 times negative 5 is positive 20 plus 1, 21. So the root of 21 over 2. And we have our two zeros. As you can appreciate, they're not so obvious. So the odds are that by inspection you would have never come up with these two zeros. But once we have them, then we can factor this quadratic very easily x squared minus x minus 5 will factor as x minus the first 0. You could take either the positive or the negative, doesn't matter. Let's take the positive to be our first 0. So 1 plus root of 21 over 2 times x minus the second 0. Now of course the negative. 1 minus root of 21 over 2. And that's it. We have just factored this polynomial using the quadratic formula. We tried to factor by inspection. We couldn't find the two real numbers, so we fell back on the quadratic formula. Let's look at one more example. We'll change the negative 5 for positive 5. See if something different happens. If we try by inspection, once again, there will be two factors. Now again, we're looking for two real numbers whose product is 5 and whose sum is negative 1. And again, the odds are, if you try to find those two real numbers by inspection, you won't find them. So we fall back on the quadratic equation. To find this factorization, we need the two zeros of the equation. And we can, of course, find those using the quadratic formula. So this will be 0 if and only if x is equal to negative b, negative negative 1, positive 1, plus or minus the root of b squared, which is 1, minus 4, times a, which is 1, times c, which is positive 5, over 2a, 2 times 1 is 2. And here's where things are interesting. We have 1 plus or minus the root of 4 times 1 times 5 is 20, and so we have 1 minus 20, which is negative 19, over 2. Now, here's where it's interesting. The root of a negative number is not a real number. And so both of these values, 1 plus the root of negative 19 over 2, and 1 minus the root of negative 19 over 2, are not real numbers. So to factor this polynomial over the real numbers is actually not possible. This number still makes perfect sense, whether with the plus or the negative. They're just something a little stranger, which are called complex numbers. And we use a C of this type to denote the complex numbers. And you can verify that this will still factor, just as a previous example, but instead of having real zeros, we'll have complex zeros. And so x squared minus x plus 5 cannot be factored over the real numbers. But if we allow numbers to be complex numbers, 
it does factor just as before. So x minus the first root, which we can take with the plus, so minus 1 plus the root of negative 19 over 2, times x minus the second 0, now with the negative, 1 minus the root of negative 19 over 2. So everything works the same. The only difference in the first factorization, the two zeros were real numbers, and the second factorization, the two zeros are now complex numbers. They're not real numbers. One thing worth mentioning in this course in differential calculus, we will not play with complex numbers. We'll always stay within the realm of real numbers. So if you ever have complex roots, we'll simply say that it cannot be factored, of course, over the real numbers. And we'll just ignore the complex factorization. And that's it.